Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host of the most, as always, Francois878, and today we are going to be talking about Operation Plague Star. We're going to be talking about the the new operational supply uh, goody reward bank uh, that DE has made, and we're going to be talking about the actual content and the rewards and just my general opinions on everything that is Operation Plague Star, uh, pretty much. Uh, the Operation itself was okay. Um, I, I thought it was pretty cool. The lead-up to it was really awesome uh, during DevStream 100. They stopped it right in the middle and... Uh, played the trailer where the boil uh, it collides with Earth and, and lands on uh, the planes and it was you know at this epic this epic lead up and uh, you know kept us in suspense for a while and I thought that was really cool and I was really looking forward to what DE had in store for us and in general I like the event uh, it's not too too grindy. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. If you want a lot of extra rewards, like a lot of the the infested zaw pieces, and uh, a number of the sets of the Exodia arcanes, then it's going to be grindy. But if if you just kind of want a normal, healthy amount of those rewards, uh, it, it's not that bad of a grind. My, my gripes with this operation mostly lie in the bugs and the randomness of where everything spawns. The event itself basically is a normal four-stage bounty, and you start off uh, heading towards a Grenier outpost and into a Grenier cave to find some Thrax toxin to kill the boil. So you have to go all the way to the cave, go into the cave, and it's uh, one of the numerous new caves that they added in update 22.3, uh, 20, I believe. And once you have the toxin, you get back up to the surface, and then you have to go to one of the numerous uh, toxin mixing stations. You have to head over there, you have to defend that uh, mixing station while well, the toxin mixes for two and a half minutes and then you have to take that toxin and <laughs> walk it over to a drone the drone has to walk over to the boil or float over whatever and then you have to fight infested uh, until there's no more infested to fight slash you have to fight the infested and the hemocyte depending on how you altered the toxin during the second stage now the <laughs> the bounty itself is is not bad. The problem is that you will more than likely end up having to go more than a kilometer between certain areas. The cave that spawns the toxin can spawn one to two kilometers away from the toxin mixing station. And that's really, really tedious. And it, it makes having arc wings mandatory. And for me, I, that's not a big deal. I have like 600 arc wings. I don't. I have like 150. But <laughs> but for newer players who are trying to get in to this event, because Earth is at the very start of the star chart, and so lots of new players probably saw this operation and were like, this is, let's do it. This sounds awesome. And... <laughs> you know, they they might not have the resources to consistently have Arcwing launchers. And, and that's a lot of running. It's a lot of running. And I know a lot of it is, is kind of RNG and it's kind of just hap wherever, wherever it spawns is where it spawns. But I really wish the DE had pro could, could have programmed this to keep the locations... Even if I initially have to uh, go, uh, you know, a kilometer, 700 meters away from, you know, the front door of Cetus, you know, that's fine. If the initial slog 
is is a long way. I'm I'm fine with that as long as all of the 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 rest of the mission is is relatively close to each other slash close to the boil. I'm fine with that. It uh, it was not th that I had a big pet peeve with. And, and the bugs. There were so many... <laughs> I have I've had my game crash. I've entered the planes and just not had the Plague Star bounty going. I have insta-failed the bounty for no reason. Literally just walking into the Grenier encampment has caused my bounty to fail. I have finished the bounty and did not get any standing for the operational supply at all. Nothing. As if I didn't even complete... As if I didn't complete any section of the... of the bounty at all. Because normally if you complete the bounty, at least it, it, one stage of the bounty, you get some standing. Right? And it's a four-stage bounty. But there's been times I just haven't gotten any standing despite going all the way through and finishing. And this whole... Uh, <laughs> and, and also, the enemy behaviors of the hemocytes are a little wacky. Like, this, the, the run that I recorded is actually really good for it, because the, the hemocytes are super janky in this run, and uh, they, they're not always like this, but they're... Eh, they're pretty... Eh. And I, I've heard a lot of people complaining about reskins of a, the the Delaric boss being, you know, reintroduced in this event. The, guys, this is a time limited event that is not going to be around forever. I would much rather have DE focused on content that is going to be around forever. And if that means that they have to recycle some some enemy skins and some enemies occasionally to do that. That's fine. Alright, I'd rather have them focused on making new permanent enemies than having them work on new temporary enemies, if that makes any sense. I'm. That being said, I'm fine with this. The Hemocyte is so big that it kind of works in the planes and how big the planes are. It's... I don't know, it's kind of cool. I was actually initially thinking that it was going to be an infested terracite that we were going to be able to fight, um, which I think would have been way cooler. <laughs> but I, I, I it was denied, unfortunately. Like, this, this boil is so strong that it's able to override the sentience uh, immunity to the infestation and uh, infest uh, the weakened terror list. But, you know, the rewards are pretty nice. All the new Zaw pieces are great. Uh, they look really, like, savage, and I, I really like the, the flavor they have. Uh, they're definitely solid. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the fact that the Scythe Blade got turned into a machete. Uh, the Zaw... Uh, scythe blade doesn't look anything like, or the strike uh, doesn't look anything like a machete. It looks like a scythe, so... Eh. <laughs> uh, the new Exodias are pretty nice. Uh, they were recently hotfixed, though, so they're not OP anymore. Uh, the new Hunter's set of uh, mods are companion-based. Uh, I might be doing a video on them at some point. I might be doing a video on all the set mods, just depending on how I feel. Uh, they're okay. Uh, I would never use the entire set because there's not really any point, but uh, Hunter's munition is broken, and Hunter, there's a one that's basically a better version of Rage. Uh, that is nice. So I'd use those two. <laughs> but the rest of the set's meh. Uh, overall, I, it's an okay event. Uh, it's definitely super buggy, so if this ever comes back, I'd like to see those bugs ironed out. Uh, but overall, as, as far as the, the intro event to the, the very first operation for the planes, I think it could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys very much for coming and watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch, all that stuff. Uh, and my socials are in the description down below. Until next time, I've been your host of the most, as always, Francois878, 
signing off.